Welcome to this tech tip explaining EdgeCam's ability to create toolpath that considers the stock shape during the machining process. This tech tip focuses on turning applications. If you are a trained EdgeCam user, the good news is that your workflow probably needs very little adjustment to put this capability to use. The first step is to create the stock item. Next, the update stock command tells EdgeCam to calculate what the current stock looks like. This command does not need to be issued after every machining cycle. Instead, simply issue it prior to machining instructions that need to consider a new stock shape, which is usually based on previous machining. The Use Current Stock option is a checkbox available in many machining cycles. This causes toolpath to be built based on the stock at the condition of the preceding Use Current Stock command. If you don't use this, turning applications require you to input starting coordinates, which are typically based on the stock anyway. Why not tell EdgeCam your machining intent and let the software take care of the details? This technology has been available in EdgeCam for quite some time, but there are several enhancements at 2012R2 that are worth noting. There is now considerable control over the toolpath start and end points when use current stock is active in the cycle. Toolpath is extended to the stock boundary, with approach and retraction considering the insert profile and fully gouge protecting the toolpath. More information on these subtle but very useful changes can be found on pages 13 and 14 of the What's New documentation. Let's take a look at applying Use Current Stock to two-axis turning. This part in EdgeCam has already been positioned, has stock created, and has features recognized. This is going to be done in a two-axis lathe, and some of the features are not available for machining because they would require live tooling, and the feature window shows them is not accessible. We're using the screen layout called Automation, and you can get to that by right-clicking over any icon, going to Profiles, Generic Profile, and the Automation Config. That adds on a toolbar, and we've applied the planning board and paired machining strategies with the different features in the part. I'm going to start with building toolpath just for the face. And notice that the first command is the update stock command, which is available in the M functions menu. And this simply tells EdgeCamp to take a snapshot of what the stock looks like at this point in the program. This would be the beginning of the program. Now with the feature visibility or the stock visibility shaded, notice we can see the stock cross section, and then we can see the tool path that's been built. And inside the new rough turn dialog, use current stock has been checked. If I ask EdgeCam to extend the toolpath by an amount, such as 50 thousandths, notice how the toolpath is extended to consider stock that's 50 thousandths bigger than what is actually there. So we can account for changes to stock shape or variances along the way. Now we're now going to take the drilled hole in the ID and apply toolpath to drill the hole and to rough out the ID. The strategy is selected an inch and a quarter drill and it's drilled to the part, and then we have another update stock command to pick up the stock at that point in the program prior to rough boring. Let's hide the layer containing the solid, and we can see right away that the drill doesn't go deep enough. Not a problem. Let's fix that by editing and simply asking for a different depth. The stock display is immediately updated, we can then regenerate the rough turning cycle that follows, and it also is updated as a, to reflect the stock. So if we take a look at some of the controls that we have here, you'll notice again that the use current stock is turned on, and we can put a stock offset, and the tool path is now extended 50 thousandths beyond the stock along the direction of cutting, exactly like we want. Well, what if I change the previous tool diameter from inch and a quarter to one inch? There's going to be a bigger web of material, and when I rebuild the toolpath, it updates accordingly, just like we would expect.